Hey YouTube land, it is your girl Shant Holly 89 and now it is time for my new series, WWE Superstar Spotlight. The first superstar in this series that I am going to talk about. He is the master of the 619, Booyaka Booyaka 619, Booyaka Booyaka Rey Mysterio. He is probably one, he is the biggest little man, or the littlest big man. <laughs> um, so wow, I'm a fan and I don't know that. <laughs> but, you know, bear with me. It's, it's, been, it's been a long day, so bear with me. Okay. I'm going to tell you guys my first impression of Ray, what I think about his in-ring ability, what do I think what kind of person he is outside of the ring? What do I think about it, him? I've never met him, but what do I think my opinion of of him outside of the ring? What I've what I've seen firsthand and what I've heard. I'm gonna give you all of that and more. And I'm also going to talk about his legacy and how Ray will be remembered. Yes, he, um, I've heard the rumors that Ray is going to retire very soon. I'm very sad. I'm going to be crying. I'm just thinking about it makes me cry because I have been a fan of this guy for so long. Um, you don't know. I've been a fan for so long. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to really cry when he does decide to retire. Okay. First impression of Ray. As we all know, all us Rey Mysterio fans, he debuted on he debuted in 2002 against Chavo Guerrero, and Chavo is a longtime rival of Rey's. They have fought in Mexico. Um, I may be wrong, but WCW, um, you know, they have they it it's been a long road with um, with with not even not just. Um, Chavo, but the Guerreros in general. Ray has had numerous matches with um, the Guerreros, especially Eddie Guerrero, the late great Eddie Guerrero. Okay, first impression of Ray. I saw him um, jump out like a jack in a box, and I was like, "Wow, that's a cool entrance." He had red on. He had a red red pants, red mask, of course. Saw him jump in like a like jack in the box, and I was like, "Wow, that's a cool entrance." Came into the ring, blew me away. My mouth was like, "That's how my reaction was to Ray." Ray blew me away when he came to the WWE. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Who is this person?" Like, I we must like this person. We must know this person. Oh, and that's not to mention what he did. Oh, and what and what he did later on. That night is one of the greatest, one of the greatest SmackDown moments of all time, in my opinion. Climbing the top of, he was um, helping out Cena and Edge because they were attacked by the Un-Americans. Climbs the top of the steel cage. I was like, what is this crazy dude doing? This dude is nuts. At first I thought he was nuts. I was scared. I was like, no, because I was like, don't do it, don't do it. Climbs the top of the steel cage jumps off of it like he's freaking Superman, Spider-Man, just jumps off of it and does a crossbody off the top of the steel cave. I was like, are you, I was like, whoa. My mouth was like, yes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, first I was like, wow, this dude is, this dude is crazy. And I saw him do it. I was like, oh my goodness. If I could say, holy shit, I would have said it back then. Because that guy just jumped off it. Did a cross by off the top of the steel cage. I was like, oh my gosh. Like, this guy has got a future. I didn't, we didn't know it at the time. I just thought it was cool. I was like, this guy, he's like a, su he's like, he's like a superhero. Jumping off the of steel cages like a crazy person. I'm like, oh my gosh. Just, he made an impact. He definitely opened my eyes. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, he really opened my eyes. So from the match with Chavo, which was amazing, 
to him doing the crossbite off of the steel cage, I was like, oh my gosh, this guy is going to have a long, a very long stay. We didn't know, like I said, we didn't know it. I was only 13, 12 going on 13. I didn't really know at the time of like what would he stay in the WWE, how long he would stay. I just knew however long he stayed, it was going to be an interesting ride. And an interesting ride it has been. An amazing journey. Now as for his in-ring ability, like I said, amazing with Chavo. He's pretty much can give anybody a great, a great match. He can pretty much do um, work with anybody. One of my favorite matches that he has done um, is with, he did, it's 2002 SummerSlam. He did, had a match with Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist. And when I tell you, they tore the house down. I think that was like match of the year. So they really tore the house down. They were really good. Um, Kurt Angle is a great wrestler anyway. But Bray just, to see this lucha, because this is two different styles. I mean, you've got, you know, Kurt Angle with his, you know, it was amateur wrestling background and Olympic wrestling the wrestling that got him to win the gold medal in 96. And then you have this luchador who is doing all these high spots, these high flying hurricanes, you know, doing suicidal dives, just doing everything. And I was like, wow, this dude, I didn't know all those words at the time. Still don't. <laughs> so that tells you something. <laughs> I was kidding. But I, I didn't know what to expect. When I saw that match, I said, wow. That definitely deserved to be match of the year. Definitely. I don't know if it's match of the year, but it, it definitely deserved whatever honors it got. It deserved it. So, yeah. I know. I was like, you don't know that, Kendall? You're supposed to be a fan. I'm like, well, you know. I, was, I wasn't really thinking about it back then, and I haven't really seen the match since. Um, so, you know, but I know it was, I, I did see it. I did see it. On my Rey Mysterio, um, the big, the littlest big man, or the biggest little man. The biggest little man. Forgive me, it's been a long day. So, I wanted to, I definitely wanted to get this done because I just love, I just, I just wanted it to just share my love of Rey Mysterio with the world. And I do love him. I do think he's a great guy. He, he seems like a nice person. I would love to meet him. If I meet him, I would give him the biggest hug ever and I would just be like no don't go I love him so he's a great guy he seems like a great guy okay so his in-ring ability great um his um my first impression now I'm going to talk about what I think of him as a person I think he's a sweet guy he seems like a nice guy I've heard from a lot of fans that he's so sweet that he will stop no matter what he's doing he will stop and sign an autograph for you he will stop and he really really loves his fans uh, especially when you see it on tv when you see he comes up and he gives like the luchador nod the like bump the um head bump to the to the kids who wear his mask and he gives them one of his masks um if you're lucky you sit in the front row he'll pick you and he'll give you the mask I think it's so cute. It's so cute. And it's, I, I love seeing the kids' faces when I watch. I love seeing them just light up. They light up when Ray comes. It, he, he is a bowl of sunshine. I, I'll tell you that. He, they light up when Ray comes. I do too. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm that little girl again. That, oh, that, thir that 13 year old, 12, 13 year old girl again. I'm like, <laughs> Ray! <laughs> so yes, he, he, he definitely lights up the mood wherever he goes so I think he is a sweet person I've heard he's a sweet guy I would love to find out for himself I mean I know I have a feeling that he is from you know because everybody can't be wrong so um I've I've heard from his from Conan who um is his um friend longtime friend I've heard from other wrestlers CM Punk um just other other wrestlers in the business, Evan Bourne, other 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 wrestlers. Sorry, tongue tight. Other wrestlers in the business. I've heard he's. They've said all said wonderful things. I don't think I've heard a negative thing about Ray, which is good. You you don't want, you don't want the reputation of being an ass. So yeah, I like that. 
Uh, so yes, he especially when I see those kids on when I'm watching it on TV and I see those children light up, it just it brings tears to your eyes because you, I will just be like, wow, oh my gosh, this guy has such a big heart and he he does, uh, he does. I want to meet him. I want to give him the biggest hug and I want to say, you have inspired me. You have been such a part of a part of my life for so long, for so many years. I love you. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Now that brings me to his legacy. What will Ray be remembered as? Someone who never gave up. Yeah, I know that's Cena's thing. That was Cena's thing. Never give up on his shirt. But Ray is definitely someone who never gave up. Um, kept fighting even when people told him that he was undersized even when people said no he kept fighting so I think he'll be remembered for that and being and and size doesn't matter when you have talent doesn't matter if you're big small black white um hispanic it doesn't matter if you got talent that's all you need and he has it he has the talent um he is amazing and um, love him in the ring and he's just he seems like a great person and I just I I really really like that and he seems like a great role model to his kids to his kids and to children all over the world I think he, he's definitely my role model so one of my role I don't really have a lot of role models but if he if I did he would definitely be one of them it just doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're big or small, you know, if you got talent, that's all you need. You're great. You got talent, you, that's all, like I said, that's all you'll need. Um, what do I think about him possibly retiring either this year or at next year, or next year's WrestleMania? I'm going to be sad. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to be crying. I'll be crying. I heard that was Undertaker's. supposed to be Undertaker's last WrestleMania. I will be crying both because I love Undertaker. And I love, you know, I love both men. Um, so, wow. It's going to be, if it's both of their last matches at WrestleMania, I will be crying so hard. I will be crying for both of them. It's. It's gonna be it's gonna be hard because it's it's because they've been a part of the WWE, especially the Undertaker. He's been a part of the WWE before I was even even knew what the hell was wrestling was. And Ray's been so such a part of the WWE um, for a while as well. And I'm just like, wow, this guy is. It, it's gonna be sad. So when Ray retires, I will definitely be crying. There will be tears. I will be singing the way we were i will be <laughs> singing a lot of lot of sad songs when that does happen so yeah yes it's gonna be heartbreaking it's gonna be sad but i know his leg like i said his legacy doesn't matter if you're big or small you got talent you're gonna make it and he did he made it you know you have your people who say he was underutilized and he didn't get to the Cena level, but you know what? With Ray, people general people liked him. We no one pushed him. Like Cena got the push from day one. Like no one pushed Ray. Vince didn't even want to hire Ray. Vince man, he didn't even want to hire Ray. So, you know, nobody pushed. You know, he didn't get that push. He the he got over with the fans and. The fans love him. I love him. He's a great guy. I'm sure he's a great guy. I, I keep saying I, I keep saying he's a great guy. I'm like I'm sure he's a great guy. I want to meet him and give him the biggest hug and tell him just pretty much all that I've said. Okay, the next episode um, is going to have the one, the only, the late great Eddie Guerrero, Mister Lie, Cheat, and Steal himself. So I will see you guys next time. Toodles. Bye-bye. Mwah.